be kind of not not. I wouldn't say I'm in its biggest fan, but it has its positives. We have free healthcare, a good quality education, and a lot of history. The history in, in Belfast or Ireland as a whole is not necessarily a peaceful one with the troubles in Northern Ireland in recent history. Only having ended in 1998 with the Good Friday Agreement. The name the troubles sort of dismisses its impact. The fact that 30 plus year long civil war was simplified into being called the troubles truly is the most Irish thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> but the past is not what I'm here to talk about today, but rather its impact it still has. Just like most 17 year olds, I go to school. My school is an all girls Catholic school. In fact, my primary school or elementary school was a Catholic school. And guess what? The area I live in is predominantly Catholic. But that doesn't mean that it's religious. No, it tends to mean that it's predominantly Irish nationalist. That the people who live there want Ireland out of the UK. Today, in the North, or today in Northern Ireland, 93% of our schools are segregated. Segregated into nationalist, Catholics, and unionist, Protestants. 93%. In school, we are taught sharing is caring from a young age, but we literally can't share a classroom. In school, we are taught that everyone is equal and to love those around us, but where I live, those lessons don't come into fruition. No matter where you live, history has had some aspect of the curriculum. But would you say you've learned from it? We haven't. In the north of Ireland, we have walls that certain politicians here could only dream of. Having a total of <laughs> <laughs> having a total of 21 miles worth of 25 foot high peace walls dividing small communities. And in all honesty, the walls truly complete their jobs of division. But this idea of separating, feuding peoples only works in the short term. It's like taping a crack on a wall. The tensions only continue to grow. The hatred becomes a cycle. Children are taught the stupidest ways to find out if someone is from their side. Like how they store their toaster, or how they say the letter H. Like, I say H but other people say itch. Like, have you ever watched Dairy Girl? And then there's like the chalkboard. It's like all that stuff. And then the impact of this, the impact this has on the people there is detrimental. With the highest suicide rates in the UK, despite the small size, the transgenerational trauma has definitely had its impact. By joining FFI, I've laid the foundations to enable myself to speak up to encourage more community work in my school, to encourage better mental health care, and to continue to grow past the divides perpetuated by the previous generation. <laughs>